Chag Pesach, Passover, for me, it's very special. It's special for everyone, for all, every Israeli, but, but for me, it's very special. Fifteen years ago, I was in Yuchatan. I was just married. During the Lele Seder meal, there was a big attack, terror attack in Netanya. Dozens of people were killed. And two hours after, I got a call from my unit, from, from the army. You have to go immediately, to come immediately with your soldiers. There will be a big operation tomorrow. 24 hours after, I found myself and my soldiers inside the Arab, Arabic uh, towns in Judea and Samaria and Ramallah, few meters from the room of the chairman of the Palestinian Authority, Yasser Arafat. We uh, waited to the order to kill him. In this operation, with thousands of soldiers in reserves and in regular uh, service, we attacked the, for the first time. We attacked and found the terrorists in their, in their uh, houses and home. We changed our attitude, we changed our system. For the first time, after, uh, uh, after 10 years of the 90s of Oslo Accords and, uh, and the understanding that we have to give the uh, Palestinians, the Arab, in the Arab, the Samaria, in the Arabs in the Judean Samaria, uh, places and the area to make, to make peace, the state of Israel, the government and the Israeli society understood that we have to attack and to fight the terrorists in their, their home and to finish with the uh, defensive uh, attitude and, going and to change our mind and to find and to attack the terrorists in their, in their places. Since this uh, period in the defensive shield operation, what we call Chomat in Hebrew, Chomat Magen operation, there was, there was a big change in the Israel attitude in Israel, uh, um, and Israel, also in the army. And, the, uh, and if you're doing a research, Israel is the first state that succeeded to destroy the terror. Uh, between the 2002 and 2004, we achieved to finish and to destroy the, uh, um, the structure of the terror in Judea and Samaria by, by the understanding that we have to enter to the towns, the Palestinian towns, to enter to the, uh, uh, the places that the uh, terror organization are, uh, are, live, are, are living. And since that, uh, since 2004, if you see what's happening in Israel, there is a big change. There is no like before in the uh, in 2000s and the uh, uh, century, the uh, bombs and bombs attackers that uh, explode in the buses in, Israel, in, the, in the towns in Jerusalem or Netanyahu or everywhere. It's finished. We have big challenge with now the stabbings and the, uh, what's happening in the, you know uh, with the sing singular uh, stabbing, but it's not like before. I, I told it for, uh, I, I'm telling that to the, all the uh, pessimistic uh, people that don't see what's the good things that are happening in Israel, the good things that are happening in the security of the state of Israel, that the, like what happened before. In 2000s, people were exposed in the streets, and now, Baruch Hashem, thanks to God, with the uh, forces of the IDF army, with the help of God, Baruch Hashem, we achieved to, to normalize our state, to normalize our life in Israel. And this is the Chirut. Chirut is the Chag HaChirut. Chag HaPesach. It's the meaning to be free, to, do, to live like you, what you want, to live with your identity and with your values, and to do what you want in your state. Chag Sameach from Israel and for all the viewers of Arut Thank you.